Welcome to this video about botched landings in tail draggers and what you can do about them. When we learn to fly, most of us struggle to land the aircraft smoothly. We want to let the aircraft float just one inch above the runway so that it will run out of lift and settle down on all three wheels all at the same time. Now, how do we do that? Every aircraft is different. There are heavy aircraft, like the L2. Let's see how you land in an L2. Your throttle's at idle. You have pulled the stick all the way back. And the aircraft will settle down on all three points. But then you land one of those hot fighter planes, different story. They will bounce, or what you call bounce. Let's see how it looks like. You reduce throttle to idle. You let it float, gradually the stick back. And there it is, your main wheels touch down but your tail wheel is still in the air. Here you can see the tail way up in the air, while the main wheels have just touched ground in a downward motion. What happens next is the tail coming down, putting the aircraft into a high angle of attack, which will make it climb. Let's look at two techniques you can use to avoid climbing away. The first technique is the wheel landing. In a wheel landing, just before touching down, you maintain a little bit of power. This will prevent the tail from coming down too rapidly. You land on your main wheels only, keeping the tail in the air as long as possible and eventually the tail will settle down all by itself. As good as the wheel landing is, what we really want to accomplish is the three-point landing. Again, in a hot aircraft, we will need to maintain a little power when we flare to keep the main wheel touching down too soon and the tail from being too high when the main wheels touch down. For a good three-point landing, we will pull the stick all the way back, but only when we run out of airspeed. Let's look at the perfect landing from the pilot's perspective. We are on short final. Airspeed is way down. RPM are still fairly high, around 1600 RPM in this aircraft. As we get closer to the ground, we do several things at the same time. We gradually pull the stick back, but we don't let the aircraft climb away from the runway. We gradually reduce throttle, but we start doing this only once the aircraft is just an inch or two away from the runway. <laughs> 